CPR and the Reggae Culture Salute. Um, as for me personally, if I was receiving this award tonight, I would try to make my way here. So it's not just being here for the award, but it's here to support CPR and the Reggae Culture Movement. You see, those of us who understand what is happening, understand the struggles that the music and us as a people have been through over many years. And um, it's not easy defending this music for 50 years, trust me. Um, sometimes I myself wonder how it happened. But then again, it, it was not my will from day one. So I guess I just followed the order and continued on from 1963. And we're in 2013, I have a new CD out, still touring. I say, God bless. Trust me. Thank you. But it really doesn't stop here either. You know, um, I, I'm just making an appeal to all my fellow entertainers too, to come out and support any and everything that is for and about our music and our culture and our country, because that is really important. The reason I made a special effort to be here tonight is when we are awarded, we tend to not show up to receive our award. Thank you. But while we are still alive, we must do these things because they are important. Yeah. They are important to the people who are here tonight, so it must be important to the recipient to be here also. And so I want to thank each and every one again. I want to thank CPR, I want to thank Reggae Culture Salute, and I want to thank the diaspora. Also, I must make mention VP Records. You see, this is a community, and, and I mean, New York is big. But we are, as a community, fairly small still. And I, I, I'm really thankful, and I must say, that VP has contributed greatly yeah. in terms of support for our music, our culture, and the different things that happen around here. So we should all continue to support VP. Trust me, it's fast. We love it. Mm -hmm. Here's a story about a good little boy Lived in the ghetto and he had no toys I can see the frustration he feels, yeah Ask his mama for a bedtime story To ease his mind even though he is hungry There's no food on his table Mama looking round trying to find something all she came up with was just one dumpling She prayed and everything was fine She said
welcome the Dr. Wells and Friends on the Sisters in Harmony Network, live at CPR Live in Brooklyn, New York at Nazareth High School. You can hear Atana in the background singing right now as I am standing here with, I don't even know what <laughs> word to use. I mean, just the incredible, the infamous Freddie McGregor. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Oh, you have just the sweetest, I don't know if sweet is the right word, the most peaceful spirit about you. Well, I try. Um, that's one of the things that is most important in life, I think. To be able to maintain that spirit of calm and yes. happiness. Because that's what God gives us and we should use it. Um, as a kid, they used to say, smile a while. Yes. You give your face a rest. Yes, yes. I always like to smile. I like. I always like to be happy. I love people. It's amazing. I have to tell you all, from the moment he came in the door, he looked at me, smiled. <laughs> and I have been hugging up on him as much as possible. <laughs> Because you're, you're so sweet. Yes, yeah, so, oh, well, thank you. Y'all heard it. He said it, so you know it's true. <laughs> now, you were a child prodigy. Yeah. You started at the age of seven. Yes, I did. And so now, tonight, you received the Pinnacle Award. Significantly on my 50th year. Exactly. Yep, very, very significant for me. I'm very, very appreciative, too, because... I mean, in life, we don't expect things. Yes. We're always giving, giving. Yes. So when, when you get a chance to get something, that's right. it's always important. And for me, irrespective of how small or how insignificant it may be, very important to me. But tonight especially, this one was truly important because um, an award from, um, from the diaspora is always important. It's about the people, our people, mm -hmm. who love and appreciate us for what we do. Right. And they say, yes, Freddie's deserving of it. And that's the reason I made the effort to be here tonight in person. Yes. Because I think it is very important that the support itself is really important. And that's why I'm here. That's right. I'm and, a part of it. Yeah, and you know, and I appreciate what you said. You said whether you were receiving the award tonight or not, you would have made an effort I to be here. I would have made an effort to be here because we, it is about us. Yes. Um, the name is what it is, yes. but it is about us. Yes. And if we don't support it, it won't work. Please look at that camera and tell the people that because no, we need to remember so, that. Yeah, and we have to remind people. The name CPR is CPR. Uh, Reggae Culture Salute is what it is. There's a concept behind it. Yes. Now the concept has to be manifested. It takes us to manifest that, 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 that dream and that vision and that concept. So it is important for my peers to understand what is happening and to come out and support it. This is our thing, this is our Grammy, our Emmy, our everything. That's right. We have to support it. That's right. Yep. Well, we support you, and as I'm sure you can see, the crowd supports oh, you yes. and loves you dearly. And when people found out that I was coming here tonight, they said, Oh my goodness, my father used to listen to him, and so forth and so on. So, Which is true. Yes. But I'm thankful. I mean, 50 years is a long time looking yes. back at it. And I've been doing this all my life, really. I can't see myself doing anything else. And um, I've done quite a body of work, I must say. But I continue to fight for the development of our music and our culture. Yes. Because it is important to maintain that and to teach the generations coming. Exactly. And so when we get loose and start to do loose things, uh, we don't find it funny. Right. Which is why this organization is here and myself too. To remind people that this, this is no joke. That's right. This is very serious and this is something we have to hand down to the generations to come. That's right. So we have to be serious about it. We have to preserve it yes. properly so we can hand it down to them. That's it. Yep. That's it. Well, you heard it from him. I'm going to let you get back to the concert and enjoy the music. Thank I'm going to keep hugging up on him as much <laughs> as I can. All right. We'll be back shortly on Dr. Walls and Friends. God bless you.